Here's a question that says, <clears throat> a solution of sodium chloride is electrolyzed. So now it's not nickel-2 chloride, it's sodium chloride that's going to be zapped. All right, so it's just salt water, right? You zap salt water, non-spontaneous reaction, right, uh, for sodium chloride uh, being put placed into water. But when you zap it, something's going to happen. What's going to happen? Well, what's your list of chemicals? Na positive, Cl negative in water. So you look on your chart to find the highest on the left and the lowest on the right. And you know what? Water beats out sodium as being the oxidizing agent. So that's the strong oxidizing agent. Now, you look on the other side, the reducing agent side, and remember, chloride ion is going to beat water even though water is lower because that's the exception, the anomaly there. So that's the strong reducing agent. I write this one out from the data booklet across from negative 0.83 volts. That's where the strong oxidizing agent is. I write it out exactly from left to right. And then I reverse that SRA and add it to that to get a negative 2.19 volts. So, by the way, what does that mean? That's the minimum voltage, 2.19 volts, that must be exceeded to drive that reaction. So when I zap from that power supply, i got to make sure that that power supply is going to provide more than 2.19 volts to make the reaction occur. Now, when you add these two reactions together, you get that 2H2O. Right? plus the chloride ion, and it's going to make the Cl2 plus the H2 plus the OH negative. What that means is that at the cathode where reduction is taking place, if this is the cathode here, you're going to get bubbles come off, just like you do at the anode here, but these bubbles are going to be hydrogen gas coming off of here, and these bubbles are going to be chlorine gas coming off of here. Then, what are you going to get? when you, um, uh, all as well, you, you notice that you're going to have uh, not just hydrogen gas, but you're going to have hydroxide ion that's going to be forming here at the cathode. So there's OH negative that's coming, that's coming off of there as well. So I like to ask this question, okay, and the Cl negative, by the way, is going up there and forming Cl2. I like to ask questions like this of my students. I say, okay, so you're zapping the solution of sodium chloride, right? And then I say, I'm not sure necessarily which of two electrodes I have, which one's the anode and the cathode, can you tell by, by performing a test? By the way, from a power supply, that negative terminal there, which is generally a black terminal, it's a negative terminal, that's the one that's hooked up to the cathode. So you could actually tell by looking at the power supply. But if you were just looking at the products of the reaction, well, you know what you could do? You could dip, uh, well, first of all, if you collected the gas off of here, which you should be able to tell, is that the gas coming off of there, if you actually collected it and then popped it, you would get a little bit of an explosion because hydrogen plus oxygen gas makes water, but it also is quite exothermic, so you get a pop. Um, chlorine would be coming off of here. You'd get a yellowish-green gas that's going to start to form there, and uh, you could really smell that chlorine coming off of there, too. It smells like swimming pool sort of thing. So that's another way to identify it. What could you do with litmus paper? If you took a piece of litmus paper, what kind? If you took red litmus paper and put it next to this electrode, it would turn blue because there's a base, hydroxide, coming off of that. Now, here's the thing. If you took that litmus paper and you put it next to this electrode, what would you get? I love asking that question. Would you get red litmus paper turning blue or blue litmus paper turning red? Well, no, you'd get neither because it's chlorine gas coming off. What would you get? You'd get either of those two litmus papers turning white. Huh? This is a very, very important industrial reaction. People zap salt water to make money, believe it or not. And the reason they make money is because you can actually get from this reaction sodium hydroxide, and that's a very important chemical on our planet. Hydrogen gas is a fuel, a very important chemical on our planet. But chlorine is put into bleach because it's a bleaching agent and bleaches turn stuff white. So a beautiful question to ask is when you put a dip a piece of litmus paper here next to the anode, what happens? Red litmus paper turns blue? No. Blue litmus paper turns red? No. Any litmus paper turns white? Yeah, because anything turns white when you put it with this bleach. That's a pretty cool reaction. It's called, the, it's called the chloralkali cell, and it's an industrial cell that makes a lot of money for people.